There are no words in the journalism dictionary to describe how important the Oscars are to planet Earth. Watched by over 9 billion people in 638 countries, it beats the Super Bowl seven times out of 10, hands down. And last night was no exception. So I hear, I totally forgot to watch. That's why I talked to someone who did. The 87th Academy Awards. Was it any good? Uh, no, they were really good. Um, I think Hollywood decided to like kind of give itself a big pat on the back. It's but about time, right? Yeah. It was also a really, really gay Oscars. What, yeah. what does that mean? Well, um, I want you to say it, not me. So a lot of unnecessary musical theater numbers. Tell me about it. Um, if you want to see what a world with no homosexual people looks like, you go outside during the Oscars. Were there lots of stars there? Yeah, I saw a couple. Brad Pitt? No. Bam Margera? Don't think he made it. Gordon Levi Levitt? I, I don't know if that's his name, that's but... someone's name. I didn't see him. Is Shirley MacLaine still alive? She is still alive. Get yeah. out of here. Yeah. How was J-Lo? Uh, she's always got a history of, you know, showing some cleavage. Yeah, they were out in fine form last night. And Stedman, how about that, eh? Oprah would never let her butler dress like a bum. <laughs> Stedman was there, yeah. He held on to Oprah's uh, Lego Oscar that she was given. As uh, butlers want to do. Oh, God. <laughs> I'd like to thank Michael Yerksa for his Oscar expertise. As well, I'd like to thank my beautiful wife, my kids, my mom for believing in me, my dad for leaving, the Comedy Network team, Wendy something, and that other chick, Slenderman. Oh, I'd like to thank the folks who make Ecstasy, The Sun, my office cleaners, uh, Sidney Crosby, and of course, Edward R. Murrow, who invented journalism. I couldn't have done it without you. For the 8 o'clock news, I'm Paul Lemieux.